a joint security force cordoned off the new NUP headquarters, which were to be commissioned today. We found the whole place engulfed in military and the police, and I think this was not done in good spirit. The NUP members and invited guests were denied access to the premises in Makere Kavle. <laughs> Police ordered them to leave or they would be arrested. Commander Katini. I found the Sabah Sabin Sabi. Sabah Kogera Kone Command. Go to your office if you have the office, go to the office. <laughs> but any gathering, I will arrest you. It is very absurd that as a registered party, we cannot even open our own offices to do politics in this country. We never expected this, a smooth ride in a turbulent state like this one. So, we shall soldier on, we shall proceed with the battle. You see, Seven picks every Tom, Dick and Harry from the street and appoints them RDCs. It's very unfortunate that security has opted to interfere into the operations of a registered political party, wherein we don't need any notice to police that we are going to carry on such an activity. All along we've been advertising, calling for our supporters, as we told them that we are going to open up our premises, head office. But based on what I'm seeing, we've, we've come, and they are not allowing us to enter there. Whoever is coming is just like forced to go away. Journalists stood far away from the NUP premises. Spokesperson for Kampala Metropolitan Police, Patrick Onyango, said they had intelligence reports that NUP members would defy their orders not to gather. We had the anticipated public order disorder to arise out man's face from that area. In a letter dated October 31st, 2023, from Yasin Injasabigu, the RRC Sikawempe, addressed to the NUP Secretary General, instructed NUP to schedule its ceremony to a later date since there are several VIP activities in Kawempe area. In the letter, NUP was asked to inform all relevant authorities about their gathering. However, NUP says they never received the letter. By the time NTV left Makere Kavle, security forces had started withdrawing. Beckham Linde, ANTV Tonight.